So these two big boys, they are the Gladiator rack shelves. They are 72 inches high by 77 inches wide and 24 inches deep. They're big. And I think when you go and get these from the store, they come in a box and they are sub 200 pounds a pop. So it's not too heavy. Uh, if you can, it'd be great if you could team lift. Uh, if you're on your own and you're sliding out of the back of your truck or your mommy mobile with the seats folded down, be prepared uh, to have your dolly handy because it will make the, the the work a hell of a lot easier. So what the heck is there to say about these things? Well, not a whole lot to be honest with you. It, it, these are shelves. I mean, what the heck do you say about something that's a big giant shelf? Uh, but there are some good things I can say, and uh, just a very small cons. But the pros holds a hell of a lot of weight, eight thousand pounds at least per what the manufacturer says, two thousand pounds per shelf. They're super duper easy to build. It's recommended in the instructions, and if common sense prevails, you may want to have somebody to help you. If there's a way you can prop things up to a certain way, and you can do it on your own, go for it. Uh, be safe. But no, absolutely no tools required. You get everything you need to go, ready to rock and roll. Uh, finish is good. Cons, uh, the finish, despite the fact that it's good, uh, it, it ablates a little easily where the metal on metal contact point is, which is to be a little bit expected. You can see I've got a little bit of a shaving right there because I had to make an adjustment. Is that the worst thing? Oh, hell no, not not for a second. Um, if you go on their website, you'll see if... if <laughs> If cosmetics are important to you, you see the little Gladiator logo throughout um, their example, but you don't see the big old honking Gladiator wordage on there. So if that's a big deal to you, try to get over it because these are pretty handy. <laughs> but um, yeah, it is, I don't know. I think it's good and bad at the same time. I have mixed feelings about that lame thing. To me, th with the Gladiator word written all over everything, especially each one of these shelves, it kind of reminds me of a night... 1980s Camaro. If you're one of those people that got the cloth seats, you got the burnt orange with the red, and it says Camaro, 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 all over everything. Uh, it kind of reminds me of GM styling choice back in the 80s uh, on this Gladiator piece there. But that's a pretty small potatoes. <laughs> pretty small complaints for what these things can do. So it's pretty straightforward. You got the the columns, you've got the actual shelf racks, you've got the mesh that's right here, and you've got these little ballot, these little I beams, I should say. And the I beams, the way they work is that you nestle them into place, you slightly squeeze, and then these little studs will lock into place. Um, one thing I will say, I mean, is this made by, you know, like Whirlpool Corporation? I mean, this is made in China, regrettably. <laughs> I bought a lot of Gladiator stuff under the impression that it was all made in America. Um, unfortunately, the person I was working with from Lowe's initially, and even Home Depot, I've ordered uh, stuff in mass from those guys uh, right around the same time. They all thought, oh yeah, it's all made in America, it's Whirlpool. Uh, I did find something at Sam's Club that's $159, and it has the exact same specs, and it looks like it's exactly the same, with the exception of the I-beam that's in the middle so that's something you might want to consider but overall heck yeah I mean they're they're serving our purposes uh, flawlessly so am I absolutely happy with these yeah you bet I wish they were made in America though one thing I wanted to go ahead and add about these things is that I didn't think that I added it before but um, these are two hundred dollars a piece each one of these uh, rack shelves that's the standard everyday price now if you're patient you can get these for about 130 120 dollars a pop we got them from home depot for that price uber sale and when you consider that price versus what the competition has to offer at least in this category of product for its intended function that is a badass price so if you're looking for something like this and you have the space and the and the need, uh, it's a no-brainer versus everybody else because I don't think that anybody else even comes close to that price point. So I'd say go for it for the if you can get it on sale, go for it.